All right, we've got a 1974 Corvette Roadster here. This car has lived an easy life. It has about 75,000 original miles, lived in Florida all of its life, and someone's done a complete restoration on the car. I'm told there's less than 100 miles since the motor, trans, suspension, paint, interior has all been done, and it sure looks that way. I've got here a binder of maintenance records that go all the way back to 1979 that I had seen. We also have the original uh, build sheet and the invoice from when this car was sold new. So it has some neat history to go along with it. And it's numbers match, the motor, the trans, the rear, uh, air condition, cowl induction, power windows, tilt telescopic, the original AM FM. Uh, it's got a lot of options, power steering, power four wheel disc brakes, Go to volocars.com, that's where you can look at all the pictures, top to bottom, read the description of the car, and that's where you'll find a price tag on every car, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you're notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, that tops down, let's go for a spin. Yeah, underneath the car is really clean. The front end looks brand new. Uh, all of it, the bushings, ball joints, uh, the steering components, spring shocks, it all looks new. It's all clean. It's all nice, smooth, painted metal. Matter of fact, the frame in this car is really nice. It's just smooth. It's not flaky or pitted. Nice, clean black frame. In back, they did replace trailing arms, shocks. Uh, not everything is new, but they went through and did what was needed. Our shop does a complete inspection on every car, too. So if they see something it needs, uh, they go ahead and do it. So rear suspension looks good. New dual exhaust system uh, with the correct type mufflers. And then these uh, stainless tips coming out the back. <clears throat> Has disc brakes at all four wheels. All the brake lines, e-brake cables, hoses. Everything looks nice and clean and proper. Uh, you look up at the motor. Remember I said there's less than 100 miles on it? It looks that way. The Chevy Orange on the bottom of the motor is immaculate. Uh, it has the uh, stainless shielding that the plug wires run down into. Uh, new flywheel cover, new starter, new fuel pump. Has a turbo 400 automatic, original to this car. Uh, the tag on the side is dated 1974. Uh, it has its original rear end. It's a 308 Posi gear in the back that is original for this car. The fiberglass floors are really nice and clean. I didn't see anything damaged or broken. It does have the full spare tire carrier is still underneath there. So everything under this car is tidy and proper. Now the pipes coming out of the engine uh, are wrapped with heat tape. Uh, right past the transmission. All that does, it keeps that heat moving away from the motor and the trans. So clean, clean car underneath. Now the body looks amazing so far. The headlights fit perfectly. The rubber bumper is excellent and lines up nice. The hood fits spot on. I don't see any damage. It all lines up real nice. Yeah, lines up beautifully. No damage. No issues, no cracking, all pristine body. 74 is the only year for the split in the back bumper. Rubber bumper, all fits beautiful, no damage. Body is excellent. Body is mint. Couldn't ask for any more than that. As far as the paint, uh, paint is beautiful, polished up real nice. On the other side, well, on this side it's touched up, and the other side it's a little bit nicked up. That's when the top is up. These Corvettes, they always hit. They're always nicked there, almost every one of them. Other than that, the paint is beautiful. Here's one little nick right here. And it's polished, smooth and glossy. The very tip of it, no damage. Grill, the lights, all that's in really nice shape there. I'll open the headlights when we back the car out. Uh, this here, someone is... I had chrome plated, typically that's painted yellow. And this does work. This feeds the cowl induction, which we'll show you when we open the hood. 15 by 8 wheels. They're painted real nice. All the trim is shiny. Looks like new. The tires look like new. Windshield is 
crystal clear. That's probably new. All the stainless trim is exceptionally nice. The rubber is real soft. Window seals are replaced. Door handles replaced. These are replaced. And he also had these chrome. They would normally be painted. Luggage rack is new shiny chrome. Tail lights, emblem, everything outside this car is mint. Has a power antenna that does work. And look at our pictures. It has a black German cloth top. I love that. It's always rich looking. Looks really nice with the top up. It costs about twice what a vinyl top costs. So now let's get inside the car and see what it looks like. It's actually an exceptionally nice Corvette. I'm very happy with it right now. Uh, door jams are painted real nice. Weather strips are installed real nice. Sill plates are brand new. Door panels look brand new, and including the handles, the chrome, the wood grain, <clears throat> all of that excellent shape. Dash pad, the whole instrument panel. The gauges are crystal clear. They look real nice. Factory tachometer. Um, the vents look like they're new. This is all in real nice shape. Got some embroidered mats. Got the factory AM FM radio. This whole middle bezel and the heater control panel is new, although they got some light scratches in the black that can be touched up. This is all new. We got power windows. Leather armrest, brand new, all leather upholstery, new cushions, new, new seats, new carpet. So I love the leather seats. New carpet front to back. Black canvas top, you don't see much of it here, but that's new. The rubber is all replaced. The light's working back there. Look under the lid, look how nice everything is redone. I should mention this also has the tilt telescopic steering wheel. So this is the numbers matching 350 motor. We were told it was just rebuilt and it sure runs and, and looks that way. Now we'll start on top. This is the cowl induction system that matches up to the hood and the air is nice fresh air is brought into the motor. And then the engine's all stock. You have the ignition shielding, the valve covers, the manifold, all stock. This brake booster and master looks like new. The alternator's new, still has stickers on it has the right clutch fan and the shroud. We've got air conditioning, R134 Freon. Uh, this is the overflow tank for the uh, radiator. Has the shielding down by the spark plugs. Just everything in here is complete and really clean looking. Just runs nice. This is 600 RPMs. About 60 pounds oil pressure. I didn't mention the original Quadrajet carburetor was completely restored as well. Our antenna goes up automatically. The radio does work. The steering wheel is not worn. Just one of those cars, the closer you look, the more you look, the more you like it. And I, I like that. Um, we didn't really show under the hood, but it's all painted. The hood insulation is new. There is a wire that runs up. I think there's a little flapper door in there that allows that fresh air into the motor. This motor compartment is like brand new looking. So there you go. Cost you a lot more to restore it than what we're asking for this Corvette Roadster. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen will help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered to your garage. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next video is posted.
Thanks for watching.